Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this thing here. Now this isn't a new thing to the channel. I actually did a video quite a while ago on this. This is the Pixhawk 5X from Holybro. Or Holybro, still not sure how you pronounce it. Now this was something that I was quite interested in because it's kind of an option if you don't have the money for a uh, full Pixhawk Cube Orange. But in terms of the connectors and everything else, it's kind of pin compatible with lots of the cables and stuff. And I desperately wanted to use it. However, I've been waiting for Ardu Pilot 4.2 to come out in order to use it. So you get all of the pieces that you need inside the box. So I just noticed that it looks like 4.2 is out. So I thought, you know what? Maybe this is the time to do the flashing. So let's just see if we can flash this. If it all works, then we're in business. Now it has a USB-C cable, which is different from the Pixhawk. So let me grab one of those. I'm guessing there's one in the kit. There usually is. And before we plug it into the computer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run, run onto setup and say install firmware. Now in the latest versions of stuff, when you plug a normal Pixhawk in, it kind of appears down here. So let's plug this in for the very, very first time. See if we can flash it. Look at that. It has found it at the bottom. Let's see if we can flash it with something. Let's stick it with uh, plain 4.2, which is what we need. Are you sure you want to upload? There it goes, it's programming. Fantastic. This is great news. This means that hopefully this is going to work. Now let's just see if it takes everything and we can access it. And then as we move it on the desk, it's all going to be tickety-boo. Plug the GPS in as well. Let's see if we can see that. Because um, if this is working, then all of us who have a Pixhawk 5X, or those who have been looking for it for an alternative, it's going to work. Okay, upload done. So we're waiting for the boot, the um, flashing LEDs. Looks like it's rebooted. Fantastic. Let's look at the COM ports. Yes, fab. Okay, this looks better because now we have two COM ports. We have the first one, which will be to talk to the actual device itself. And the second one, which will be, you can enable it for things like CAN bus pass through for additional peripherals. So rather than plug it in, let me just unplug it from the computer. And we'll plug the GPS in. Uh, the connectors are all a bit different way around, but that's GPS one. Let's plug it in there like that. Right, okay. Plug it back into the computer. That is all working. That is brilliant. I'm really, really pleased about this. This now means that when we go into things like setup, we can go through the mandatory hardware stuff, the accelerometer calibration. Let's calibrate it while we're done. Place your RD Pilot level. Click when done. Put it on the left hand side. Done. Put it on the right hand side. Place it nose down. nose up. Again, this is super easy with these because they're quite boxy flight controllers. Put it on its back. Calibration successful. Right. Let's calibrate level. Completed. Wow. Awesome. So there we go. Now we have the ability to flash things like this and to get it all working. Massive thank you to all of the Ardu Pilot developers for getting 4.2 out. There will be lots more Ardu Pilot-y stuff coming in the summer, but this is great. It now means that I can actually use this for something rather than it just sit in the drawer waiting for Ardu Pilot 4.2. So hopefully that's helpful for those of you who have the Pixhawk 5X from Holybro sat there. It's ready to go. 
thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.